people who follow a very strict vegan diet are at higher risk for developing certain nutritional deficiencies because there are some vitamins that are only found in animal sourced foods, such as vitamin B12, B12 in particular, um, omega-3 fatty acids, um, choline, these are these are nutrients that are primarily found in animal sourced foods. They are not really found in adequate supply in plant sourced foods. And that doesn't mean people should not be vegan. It doesn't mean people can't be healthy on a vegan diet, but it means if you're following a vegan diet, you need to be aware of that information and you need to take supplements to ensure that you are you know, have all the nutrients that you need. Same is going to apply to a ketogenic diet. I want to be clear. People on a ketogenic diet, if they are deficient in carnitine, that can be really um, problematic because carnitine is essential to the utilization of fat as a fuel source. People on a ketogenic diets are at higher risk of developing selenium deficiency. Um, uh, and that is actually, there's at least one or two case reports of people dying of heart attacks because they became severely deficient in selenium. So I don't, I'm not trying to be plant-based or animal-based. I'm not trying to start diet wars here. Um, I'm just saying that nutrients need to be considered. And if somebody is following a, um, a, a diet that is excluding a lot of food groups, um, one needs to at least look at that. There are unique benefits as your course is focusing on. There are unique benefits about carbohydrate restriction, fasting, and ketogenic diets. Hey, would you like to know how to use food as medicine for your genes? Get access to my free webinar using the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the webinar. And if you do, please make sure to comment and share.